Trent Alexander-Arnold is the main one for me. He's away with England at the moment. Jude Bellingham there with him. We know how these international camps work. What's your take on the latest with Trent and that contract extension? Well, yeah, not too worried about that in terms of uh, Jude Bellingham getting in his ear because clearly it didn't work when Trent was trying it in reverse and trying to get into Liverpool. So I'm not, not too worried about that one. But I think, yeah, th th no doubt that I think Liverpool, it's it's a consequence, isn't it, of not having a permanent sporting director in place and that structure there in recent years. It's, it's kind of cost them around the contract situations and they've got themselves into a little bit of a corner with quite a few of those players. And Trent's probably the best example because I think you know he's the most important in terms of signing up. He's got his best years ahead of him. He's a you know a future captain, no question. Um, so they really do need to get that one wrapped up. But again, I think Liverpool will clearly you know with this one, it's it, you know the negotiation is difficult in that it's going to be an absolutely mammoth contract that's going to put him in and amongst those top earners, isn't it? It's going to be a huge contract, no doubt about that. But again, a, a player who. He's spoken himself about wanting to be Liverpool captain in the future. He's been given that role of the vice captaincy, um, you know. And, and, and this new era is coming in now, where you've got Michael Edwards back at the club. There's a bit more structure, you know. Richard Hughes is in place now, so I think I think the signs are, are positive. But it's yeah, it, I think Liverpool will have regrets about leaving it this late because it does always open up that question of you know, will he wait to go on a free? Will he, you know, will Real Madrid try try the hand and, and try and tempt him? Um, but again, you know, all the all the messaging from Trent has is, is, is consistently been that he wants to be a Liverpool legend. So I, I think if Liverpool, if the money's right, and I think that, again, they've no reason not to. They will pay the top money to the top players when they're in the right age bracket. Um, I, I, again, you know, that, uh, one that you would be confident will will get sorted out. But hope he's got, yeah, I suppose he's got to wait till till the tournament's over and he's back and then and then it can all get all get sorted over the summer, hopefully.